as a man, life is going to be difficult. It's more difficult than being a woman. It's more difficult than anything else. So it's very easy to see yourself. Life is actually easier as a whole if you see yourself as a hero. Because in every single hero story, the hero suffers. He has a hard time. And if you understand that you're suffering because you're a hero, then the suffering begins to make sense. So you can be sitting here right now and go, my woman doesn't respect me. I have no money in the bank. This is difficult. I'm struggling here. I'm struggling there. You can feel sorry for yourself or you can say, yeah, my woman doesn't respect me. I'm struggling. I can't make money. But you know what? That's because that's I'm a f***ing superhero and my life's going to be hard because I'm a man. And as a hero, it's going to be difficult. These are the tests and the trials and the tribulations I have to go through to become someone. Every single male superhero went through a whole ton of shit before he became superhero. You've seen the Batman movies. He was, his parents died, he was, he was locked up in jail. All these bad things happen and then they emerge as the hero. And this is done for a reason, because it's the reality of life, especially as a man. So right now, you have to understand that you're the hero in this movie. And if you're struggling, you're struggling for a very important reason. And how you handle these struggles and how you deal with these struggles are gonna decide the kind of person you're gonna be afterwards. You're either gonna be a superhero or you're gonna to succumb to them and you're gonna fail. So be happy that you're struggling because that's important. All the bad things have to happen. There's no way to get there without the bad things. I get so many emails from people complaining about their bad things, and I, I don't have time to reply to any of them, but if I could, I'd say, good. Good luck, congratulations, off you go. Of course you broke your heart. Of course you're sad, of course you miss her. That's life, that's part of it. That's the only way you're gonna get to that level of resilience. You can't become the man any other way. So yeah, I, I, I thank God for everything bad that's ever happened to me, and all the demons, and I, I trust that he's not gonna give me anything I cannot, in the end, decipher and deal with. In the end, I think it's a puzzle, and you decipher it, and you work out the best way to deal with it, and you internalize the good parts, and you become a better and stronger and more resilient person for it. So I have to thank God for every single one of them. I believe if you had a magical time machine where you could peer into the future, then you were to show a guy who was complacent, chilling, likes to play video games too much, doesn't really have an action plan, is working some job. If you were to show him himself at 50, still flipping those burgers, he'd be like, whoa, I have to do something, I have to wake up. So this is that time machine right now. Stand yourself in front of the mirror if you are that person. Imagine yourself 30 years old. Imagine yourself fat, out of shape, bags under your eyes, wrinkles on your skin, gray hair. Imagine that man exactly where you are today. And if you don't like it, do something to change it because it's complacency that damages people. The fact that I can't sleep, I've had girls say to me, you can't sleep, you need to see a psychiatrist. And I said, absolutely not. I would be furious if a psychiatrist walked in here and took my demons from me. I don't care if they could fix me with a click, they're mine. And they were bestowed to me by God. And they are mine to deal with and they are mine to fix because that's how I become a better version of me. I would be furious if someone took them away from me. I'm glad I can't sleep. Good, I can train endlessly. That's why I'm bigger than I've ever been. I'll train every, I'm not going to waste a minute. But all the demons that have been given to me by God and all the problems that have been given to me by God are mine to fix. I would never ever allow anybody else to take them from me. I'd be furious. If a psychologist came in and said I could cure you, I'd say, no thank you, I will cure myself. I don't care if it takes 10 years. I'll cure myself, that's my job. And I know that when that's done, I will be more mentally resilient than I ever would have been without you. I think we're here to struggle and to learn. I don't think we're here to be happy. And someone goes, oh, but I want to be happy. Why? Why do you want to sit there and laugh? Like you're, you were happy your entire childhood. That's your happy days. You're allowed to be happy as That's a kid. It. It's all over now, right? You have, you're a man, you have responsibilities. I think we're here to struggle. I think we're here to endure pain. Yeah. I think we're here to just see how hard we are to kill. I yeah. think that going through terrible things and living through them and, mm -hmm. and coming out the other side is one of the most fantastic things about being human. Uh, I think that it's, it's almost like once you understand what life is really about, there's no emotion which isn't enjoyable. The only emotional state which can be seen as detrimental is feeling nothing at all. But if you're sitting at home and you're feeling truly heartbroken, at least you're feeling something, right? And I think that's the whole part of being human.